Ladies and gentlemen, the journey is about to end. One week of a tournament and what a week it has been. WCA European qualifier. Now we're gonna determine. Two slots to China, $15,000 on the line. The winner alone gets $7,600. $4,500 for the runner-up. And the third place will not get a ticket to Yinchuan to the grand final to meet with the best players in the world, but will be rewarded with three thousand dollars the biggest warcraft competition in europe by far and we have three guys fighting for those slots sonic orc worker foggy sonic and foggy especially foggy has made a name for himself throughout the last two years uh, almost two years he's been continuously improving putting so much work into it and we were kind of expecting him to be here sonic maybe not so much. He has had great showings in the past. The Zodiac Dream League was won by him, but he has those days of brilliance and he has those days where he's like really, you know, he's good and everything, but he's not going to be taking out the top of Europe and he's not going to be able to contest the best in the world. But all right, Sonic, we can see him being there as well. But then the third one, Orc Worker. To me and to many others, a big surprise. You had a hunch about this guy. You said he can take it very far, he can maybe go the distance. And yeah, he's the only Orc in here, he's up against two Night Elves. This in general, these last couple of weeks, seem to be the time of the Orcs. Um, the Belarusian, this will be by far his biggest success. He made some prize money before, but not so much, not even close. And it would be also his first ever offline event. Indeed, the last time WCA Open Qualifier 2015, he was so close of coming to the grand final to Yin Xuan. Only one series away he was, but Sonic stood in his way, killed him there. Will this be the revenge? Will this be the time for Max? Will this be the time for Orc Worker? He put in so much work into his Warcraft in the past year, <clears throat> and I spoke to kind of his manager, and he said, damn, I need practice partners. How but how are you supposed to practice for Sonic? This guy is a lunatic, this is a maniac. You have no idea what seed's going to play. <sighs> but if someone has put in the hours, it's going to be Orc Worker. It's not the same meticulous, extremely detailed and thought out practice that uh, Sonic, uh, Foggy might have. Foggy has like folders and folders of creep routes, of uh, certain timings of when to go where. His play is really crisp. Orc Worker. He doesn't do it that precisely, but he still puts in the hours. If you check out his ladder counts, he's got so many ladder counts. <laughs> and he probably plays W3 Arena more than the next three places combined. So he has uh, yeah, practiced as much as one can. But as you say, Sonic, how many games do you really find on ladder where people play like Sonic will play? Especially uh, against human. And maybe against Undead, he's really out there. Panda first, Pitlord first. Is that really an option against Orc? I feel against Orc he might be a little more limited because of course we know the Orc on tier 2 is so strong, has so much map control. And if you don't have a sturdy strategy that can deal with many things, if you are too crazy, maybe you're gonna fall to pressure too early, too easily. So maybe Sonic is, maybe his craziness is gonna be curbed a little bit here. But of course we are hoping for something I'm still I'm still still dreaming about the alchemist it, it has to it has to come at some point come it on it has to be in the Sonic. finals yeah of course alchemist please let's take a look into the upper bracket because both players made their way through the upper bracket orc worker in a group with hate love anger Chechi and the mask seemed to be quite an easy group for him but then versus when the first map was really close the second map not so much 2-0 it was same result versus Yaws, so he comes in this grand final without a single map loss. He's the only player with that. Will he continue his work, his orc work, without defeat? We're gonna see about that. Sonic on the other side, a group with Rudin and Wan, also undefeated through the group stage, but then came Chechi, overcame him in the first round, and also Hawk was able to win a map from him, so he has showed some flaws, especially overcommitment might be his demise. 
Yep, he needs to start paying closer attention to his heroes and also may possibly should reconsider being as aggressive. He is such an aggressive player, but this can cost him games. He is still in the upper bracket here, so regardless of which player loses, they're not all the tournament, they still have a chance. But of course, the winner here is already safely going to China. Exactly, and guarantees himself $4,500 in yep. comparison to the 3000 of the third place. Of course, these two players have two chances to make it. There's one guy who has only one, one shot, one opportunity, and that is really everything that he ever wanted, man. Foggy is waiting in the loser bracket. We see it here. He was thrown down by Hawk, surprisingly, but he made his way through everything. Czechy 2-0, yours, of course, the forfeit, the death win. We know about this, but 2-0 versus Hawk as well, and now he's waiting for his opponent today. We haven't seen the Knight of Mirror here in this tournament. Which is we so haven't crazy. We if, <laughs> if you guys watch on Sundays, uh, there's this thing called Jera Cup. And I think like half of the time we have a, a Knight of Mirror in the final. And there's a lot of more Knight of Mirrors uh, before that. We have really been blessed with a few Knight of Mirrors. And, um, but also we haven't seen a Knight of versus Orc. So both matchups actually happening for the first time in this qualifier. Yeah. Really, really crazy how this happened, but Foggy, yeah. Who would have thought that he would lose to Hawk, but making his revenge here in the loser bracket semi-final. He seems to be ready for this. We have the player sheets, everybody. This one for the winner bracket final. Maxim Storovoitov from the Belarus. 25 years old, the Orc player. The Orc player that stands against two Ukrainian night elves. He played the ZDL, that was uh, his first big tournament, I guess. Quarterfinal right from the bat, pretty good. And then WCA Pro Qualifier was defeated by Hawk. What a slaughter this was. The most one-sided qualifying match last year. But he came back, as we mentioned, WCA Open Qualifier 2015, third place. And finally, this year, after four lost finals, he was able to win that Jera Cup. Do you think that if he wouldn't have won that Jera Cup, had no final that he won, that he would be more nervous. And now he finally break through that ceiling <clears throat> and he feels comfortable playing a final. Um, it's of course hard to tell because we don't know that much about him. But Well, the question is how much of a goal was winning Jera Cup for him? If he had that high up on his list, then finally reaching that goal, of course, is liberating. But maybe for him it's just, yeah, whatever, it's a Jera Cup. This might still be a totally different stage for him. He still might be going into this nervous, might still be, oh man, crap. This is going to be about everything now. Because we said before, he is the player with the least tournament experience. He won prize money before, yes, but uh, he hasn't been to offline events, hasn't been to big finals. The others... Foggy and Sonic, they uh, have more experience under their belts. Indeed, there he is. Ilya Malish, the oldest player remaining in this qualifier from Ukraine. I mentioned it, 28 years old, the winner of the Zodiac Dream League, the second place of the WCA Open Qualifier, lost only to Hawk in WCA. He didn't do that well, but his opponents, man. Infi, Yumiko, Reprisal, no shame of dropping out there. Five Jera Cup titles, and he is the one who played the most Jera Cup. 72 participations, and he seems to be on fire. Number one of the NetEase ladder for a long time in the past month. And coming in this final with a semi-final and the last Jera Cup to his belt. Whew. Primo, we are ready. We're once again waiting for the Russian commentators. So, we have to choose two players. Mm -hmm. Who do you think will make it to China? Hopefully, All right, Ogwaker uh, looked extremely strong against Undead, but he has his own kind of play style. And Undead, probably in the final stages of the tournament, are not going to be an issue. But there, he, he has one of his strengths, I think. And against Human, we mentioned it before, um, last year, WCA, against Hawk, he got demolished. It was ugly to watch, honestly. It was super one-sided, but now, I don't know if he's been studying up on Lin or something changed in his soup that he eats every morning. I had no idea. But suddenly he's really strong against Orc, but we have not seen him against Night Elf. Obviously, you mentioned this before. In this tournament, we have not yet seen Orc versus Night Elf. And is that his strong matchup? 
I'm not so sure. I if, it, if it was really a really strong matchup, then maybe Jera Cup should have been more successful for him. The thing is, Orc Worker is maybe one of the strongest Orc players versus Night Elf in the world when it comes to defending the tier 2 tower push. He is the inventor of the little traps, I think. At least I haven't seen it before. Um, and he knows everything about building little traps, trapping the Beastmaster, getting rid of the Quill Beast right away, trapping the Demon Hunter sometimes. This is his strong suit, defending this. The weakness is getting that into the late game, capitalizing from that advantage. You hear the sounds, everybody. You hear the sounds, and for the very first time on this beautiful Thursday, we're going in-game. We're going in-game. One slot to China. And so much money on the line. In the upper left of Turtle Rock. It is Sonic the Lunatic. We mentioned it. Spawning here in the upper left. Uh, in yellow. Finally he got his yellow. Maybe that helps him in the bottom. Orc Worker on TR. Where he defeated Wan in a game that looked pretty weak for him to be honest. He almost lost that. But he came back. Should feel comfortable here. Night Elf versus Orc for the very first time in this qualifier. Remo, let the games begin. All right, uh, Turtle Rock to start things off. That is not a bad Orc map at all. And uh, since we're talking about the maps, I'm going to enlighten you how the vetoes went. So Orc Worker decided to remove Nomad Isles and Twisted Meadows, which I find to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Usually super hard for the Night Elf to find anything early. We uh, actually casted a Korean and Chinese competition earlier where Moon made Twisted Metals look very well, but usually a good Orc map. But hey, not for Worker, he doesn't want to play it. Sonic removing Amazonia, which seems to be his nemesis. Every Night Elf loves Amazonia, apart from Sonic. He's special. And also Last Refuge being removed by the Ukrainian. This leaves us with Turtle Rock. This is the first map. This is the map choice of Sonic. Again, curious. And Orc Worker picking Echo Isle second. If we go to a third one, that will be Turner Stand. All right, why is this good, a good, uh, good um, Orc map? Well, there are four ogres here that are super easy to creep and give you clubs, gloss, circlet, or the ring, which will not be so nice. In addition to this, there are two shops, the merchants, where you can easily creep the Ogre Magi solo that will give you potentially a great item and vision throughout the entire match. The Demon Hunter likes to harass the Orc early, trying to keep him from creeping, but there are so many small camps to take, it is almost impossible to keep the Blade Master down. All this points towards this being a good map, but Sonic chose it, and that is because it's Sonic. We see the focus creep from Orc Worker going for the Ogre Magi. It is quite risky and indefinitely because Sonic is approaching. He seems to know exactly what Orc Worker is up to and he wants to trap him there and get rid of the Blade Master right away. There is a Wind Walk, so this Ogre Mag Magi creep is gone. Uh, might not be possible for Max. He missed the first uh, Dust of Appearance. Yeah. This makes Orc Worker feel a little bit more safely about this, but does he really want to commit? It is dangerous. The Grunt is here now, would love to distract the Demon and drag him away. Is there going to be an end snare flying? Not quite, he seems to be out of range. As all of this early game harassment is going on, tier 2 has been started. And actually, it's fairly late for Orc Worker. Mm -hmm. He's not going for the, now, for the known one borrow tech, but rather for the two borrow tech. And if he loses a grunt here, that would be a terrible start. He's getting the ogre in return, but that's not the way he, point, he Im imagined this game to go. But he gets the boots of speed, man. That is so important. But risky play from him. Going out of the wind walk. No mana anymore, but with the boots, he can feel comfortable. He will be able to run away. Oh, there's a block from Sonic coming in. There is no potions, of course. He's not at tier 2. But the opening in the base, he's not closing it. But there are the player's yawns. forces are under attack. Demon Hunter took a lot of uh, hits as well. One Dust, one um, Cloak of Shadows. Yeah, of course, there's no Huntress Hall, so no surprising mass dryad, bear strategy here on Turtle Rock. This is going to be uh, talents for sure. Oh, well, for the European Idols, we don't know, because they tend to forget their Huntress Hall, but of course, uh, this seems to be the standard. Sonic coming in again, trying to go for the last hit. Not getting it, though. And there is Slippers of Agility for the Blade Master, and he knocks down the... Demon Hunter will go, but he got the staff, getting back, healing up, and getting ready for the tier 2 push. And there's definitely an opening to, do, to deal significant damage to the tier 2 buildings, as again the 
Tech is later, not a one borrow tech. And there's a big opening here to the space. Look at the borrow to the left. There's no way he's gonna be able to close this off. And actually three of the peons for Awkward aren't doing anything. Okay, he remedies this now. But this is quite a few grunts. And even if he doesn't have the most experience right now, he's gonna be able to power creep fairly quickly. And look at the inventory, man. <laughs> what is up with the orc drops recently? Like seriously, perfect items for him. It is amazing. Circlet, slippers, claws. This is already plus 11 damage. And of course, Critical Strike will have a multiplier for that. Tier 2 is finished. Sonic with the first Ancient of Wind, and the second one will follow. Beastmaster is here as well, but he's not going into the base. He knows Orc Worker is so strong and defending the door. Is he? Oh, did you see it? Sneaky route. Did you see it? It was nighttime. The Blade Master was close, but he may not have spotted it. Pretty cool here by Sonic going the long way around, evading the scouting of the Blade Master. And now there should be an opening here. Or can he block it with all of the grunts? You said he is the king of the traps. Oh, but he's going to be losing a grunt here. But if both the tier 2 buildings come up, this is going to be worth it. Uh, he blocks himself a bit with the Quilbys, but the Peon is there as well. Now there's the opening. No, there's not. The Bouncers are keeping the Demon Hunter away from the Beast Tree, but for how long? He lost oh. one grunt. He might be losing the second one. Once again blocking that one. And here comes the Damage Beast. Oh. The Blade Master Shadow Melt. Keeping Holy him Jesus. alive with 24 food. But the Quilbys get the second grunt. And uh, of course, Sonic has to TP out there. It's not possible to kill the Spirit Lodge. The Beastmaster has no yeah, step of preservation. But will he let the Demon Hunter die? How long it is? Right? It's still 2 a.m., so quite some time. The Beastmaster is trying to get a staff from the main. Is the Orc going to give him the time? Of course, he needs a dust of appearance, but he doesn't want to let him out at the same time. It's a risky situation for Sonic. Once again, he always goes for the risk. Here's the stab. Is the damage there? Oh, he can do it! Wow! <laughs> Super risky move, but he gets rewarded for it, and I think this is really good for him, despite not killing. Um, yeah, this is great. Building here, but two grunts, and you know what they say, Remo: never lose a grunt in the early game. This is great for Sonic. Well, the, the one big downside here is his Demon Hunter is still only level one. Yep. Blade Master uh, is level two. But he was the, the the reason he went for the late borrow tech, the two borrow tech, is that he has many grunts to power creep. Now he still only has two and a raider here. He can't really go safely for the big camps. He can't really go for the starting positions for the red camp right away. And look at the confidence from from Sonic. He knows what happened here in the early game. He's gonna try to get the last hit. Did he it was get it? Close, no. but didn't get it. Cloak of Shadows lying on the ground. Picks it up now. Almost is around for Worker. There is a end snare is coming in. Now it's ready. But he's not going for the kill. Of course, the damage is not that great because he lost two grunts, maybe with a block. Oh, the Blade Master's coming in. This Beastmaster should be dead for oh, sure, the but the Demon is coming in. Critical Strike for 86, but this stab should be in range here oh. in a second. There we go. Master training for Sonic starts. Orkboro for Worker is coming. He is supply stuck at the moment. Mistake from him. He can't go further than 40. He's got the upgrades though to go, so uh, yeah, slowing down him down a little bit. Alright, he's got the end snares now, he got the spirit link now. This is where Orc is supposed to be dominant. This is where the Knight of is supposed to be scared, but when I look at Sonic's play here, he's not scared at all. He is feeling comfortable, he is feeling confident. He's got the Tinker out already extremely quickly at only 31 supply. Now might be forced into a TP here, transfers to staff, doesn't need the TP, saves the first hero level 1 on a sliver of health again. But now the moon wells are really low on mana. Yeah, and Sonic's confidence, man. Usually you pile up the dots in your base until you have like four or whatever. Yeah. Look he at this. goes out on the map in the middle of yeah. the map with only three talents. With and they don't even have master. Yeah. And this is a mistake by Worker. This should not be allowed. I mean, it's unusual, you don't really expect this, but it's Sonic man. Expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected indeed. Tomb of Agility for the Blade Master. Once again, more damage. What's the first consumable here for Sonic? It is the big invul potion. Very, very nice for him. Level 2 finally for the Demon Hunter, but the Torrent Chieftain is getting closer to level 3 and he doesn't have a level 2 mana burn. Here the first engagement. He has Master though. Here's the first Shockwave. Not hitting too much. Only the heroes. Is Worker going for hero focus only? He doesn't have an... Oh, he has an invul potion. When will he enable Beast Mode? There is nothing to save the Beast Master so far. There it is. Critical Strike for 92 immediately. Level up for the Beast Master. He's going for the 
a demon in who potion being swapped uses it right away but will he find an opening he kills a few talents here but loses the run of the process as well tinker being chased down there goes the third hero level three and i think he has to go for critical strike level two here only two talents remaining and neither of them has a cyclone so now the blade master can do whatever he wants sonic he was playing really well really confident but this has to be Overconfidence, looking for a real fight with only so few Cyclones. Walkwalker using the uh, scroll of speed to get out of there and saves Sonic. a lot of his units. Sonic is being punished for being overconfident and greedy as hell. This is level two Windwalk. I do not agree with this decision because especially if you have plus 11, the crits do so much for you. Plus 13 supply for the guy from the Belarus. Can he, and I mentioned this as well, the early tier 2 is his strong suit. Can he get this advantage into the late game or will w at one time the overwhelming pressure of the talents will be overwhelming? By the way, he also fought, found a very nice item on the TC, the Pendant of Energy from yes. the Merchant on the right side. So he has both Merchants, will have constant vision of many portions of the map. And where does Sonic go next? He doesn't even have the mana in his moon wells to heal up. He wakes up the creeps right now, takes even more damage on the first hero. This was looking like such a delicate act of, br of, uh, of brilliance here from Sonic, finding exactly what he can find in the early game, levels, items and stuff. But then this one overextension, one time, he takes the fight too early and he suffers so hard. Of mana stealing for the TC is not ideal, but more mana is always nice for this little, uh, for this big bull with the area of effect damage. And yeah, he needs to do something unorthodox. He goes for the red spot, but of course there was this ward for yes. off worker. Sonic has to know this. He's not allowed to start this fight. Maybe he just wanted to bait what? the position. What? He's starting the creep. This seems to be the a big what? mistake. Backstep damage. Is there an invo potion? Yeah, there is on the Blade Master. He's going for the Ogre Lord. What's he gonna drop? Crystal Ball. He does not get rewarded. Yes, Losing the TP. Two talents in the process. And the Town Portal third talent may be dying as well. Yes, he gets it. So the game is getting better and better and better for Off Worker. What was that, man? That, that looked like desperation, thinking, all right, I have to do something. Yep. If it doesn't work, Definitely. that's really bad for me, but I have to try something. That was... That looked not good at all. Walkworker now at 50 supply. Still, he used a few items here. He used the inball on the Blade Master, but will be easily able to rebuy that one. Getting ready with the next Boro for 60 supply as well. He has more than enough resources. To get up there. By the way, one walker standing AFK in the base. That happens, I guess. Walk walker getting ready for an expansion here in the upper right. With a peon. Very unusual position. Does of appearance reveals the blade master. The three heroes of the Night of Side are back again, but they're so underleveled. Oh, is he gonna get the beast master once again? Cyclone is coming in because he was revealed. Where where are the end snares. Here we go, first one, but not going for the heroes. Interesting choice to go for the units instead. Oh, the first the shockwave. Wave. Beautiful. Demon Hunter down to 50% uh, HP, below 200. Beast mode, beast mode enabled, and he has to go for the town for the Whoa. third time! <laughs> Triple kill, quad oh. kill on the talent. And Sonic is losing unit after unit after unit. Level 4, Blade Master. These crits gonna be so hard and here is the expansion for Orc Worker. He really needs to get up those heroes man. Sonic needs to find some way to get up those heroes. He found two grunts early on with the Beastmaster and we thought that was great. Nowadays many Night Elves decide to creep with the Beastmaster instead and he's really lacking severely in experience, man. This strategy re revolves around you disabling your opponent's heroes with Cyclone and then your heroes carry. Of course, talents do a bit of damage, but yeah, not really. And with only level two, level two and level three heroes, he's not gonna be able to withstand the pressure that's gonna be coming from level four, Blade Master, level four, TC, and a big army to go with it. Yeah, what's the item from the Ogolon? Sonic is close, but not close enough. Cloth plus 12! Oh my god, can you believe the damage that this guy is gonna pump out? Sonic in the meantime cancelled the expansion with an engine of war. Both has been cancelled now to save the resources on the side of Sonic. 
A player's forces are under attack. Late Master barely missing the Night Elf here. He should be able to take out the Gargantian Sea Turtle before the Orc arrives. But when Orc Worker moves in here for the engagement, I think Sonic has to TP out quickly. Finding the Skull of the Beast, also not what he wanted. What he wants is stuff that keeps his heroes alive as they are going to be. Uh, they are going to be the ones winning the fight, dealing the damage. But this was a little bit risky by Sonic again. He moves out into the middle of the map instead of taking the safe spots, instead of taking the turtles or the ogres next to his base, because he knows probably he's going to be getting them anyways. Did he have a TP, by the way? Who? Awkward or Sonic? No, Sonic. He didn't even have a TP. So he, he keeps on resources. playing really risky. Exactly, he doesn't have the resources at the moment. Orc Worker on the other side, plus 21 now. Has an Invo Potion looking for the items, but there's only a heal scroll left. He has a lot of resources. The TC on the other side has another scroll of healing and a town portal. So he's playing this super safe. Usually the Orcs run around with speed scrolls to get back to their attack. base or wherever they want to be, but not this guy. I don't, I don't like how passive Orc Worker is being. We have seen this so many times throughout so many of his games. He has a good advantage, like right now. He has way superior heroes and a superior army. And he's on his side of the map creeping his camps. The Demon Hunter now gets level 3. The Beastmaster now gets level 3. The Tinker got level 2. These are crucial level ups that should not be given out so freely to the opposition. Indeed. On the other side, the TC is super close to level 5. Found the potion of greater mana. So in retrospect, if you can't say it was the correct choice, he just needs to kill a few more talents and then level 3 shockwave. Boom! Are under attack. The damage is gonna be crazy. Sonic has to disable him over and over and over again. He gets a pick up here maybe. No, Trollbed Rider survives. Getting nice vision here on the hill. And Sonic, man, he's so confident, it makes me crazy. <laughs> he's, he still doesn't have a TP. He's in the middle of the map, has no idea where the orc is. He doesn't care. And he's moving even further yes. forward. 60 foot, though, for the Night Elf. It is 63 only for Worker. You know, 10 foot advantage usually is the thing that the orcs want, but not if they have a level 5 torrent chief date with 300 mana points in the inventory. <sighs> Going for the forest troll warlord. Late master's coming in. Does he want to steal it? There is no slot for him. And what the fruit of acuity. So that's nice. But here comes Orc Worker. Cyclone immediately. Where is the wave? He's hiding his TC. The position is not ideal. But so many raiders are taking care. Where's the mana burn from Sonic? There is none! Here comes the shockwave and Tinker level 3 though. Invo Potion on the Blade Master already. Maybe a little too early. Cyclone on the TC now. Lots and lots of mana for him. Demon Hunter has to take care of this. But Sonic's numbers, man, they are dwindling. And yeah, the Raiders are finding the connections towards the Talons. And the Walkers are taking out the Pocket Factory and whatever is left in front. But the Talons, man, one after the other. There's barely anything left. The heroes might be up in the air, but the raiders are doing the job of killing the casters. Now the demon hunter in a lot of trouble, in a lot of trouble as the crit finishes him off. And another one to kill even more of the units. Level 5 for the blade master. And now the beast master is next in line. Is there something to save him? There isn't. There is absolutely nothing. GG. Map number 1 going to worker. 292 critical strike at the end of this game. Orc worker still didn't lose a single map it's amazing yep and amazing. sonic when you like seriously when you move out so far onto the map and try to creep something and you're at a disadvantage you have to have a tp there was no hope of him winning that fight the position was horrible as well he was getting creep jacked yeah. the talents were out of position the demon hunter most importantly was not in position to get the mana burn off and there come the perma and snares Usually this is the stuff that makes him so strong, this unpredictable kind of stuff that nobody yeah. thinks would work, but he makes it work. Yeah, it's always high risk, high reward. Yeah. <coughs> but today that was too doesn't high risk. Work, doesn't work out at all. Well, this was only map number one. Was it Orc Worker's pick to go for TR? Nope, that was Sonic's pick. Hmm. So what's the next one? That was a weird pick though to begin with. Usually that is a good, good Orc map. Mm -hmm. So Echo Heights is going to be the next one. Okay. Of course, potentially uh, <laughs> great for the Blade Master to Indeed, stack up like crazy. Um, Ten slots for Claws and Orc Worker yeah. has so much luck recently. But if it goes perfectly, uh, if Sonic fights really well, all of that inventory is going to be useless and just spinning yeah. up in the air. 
Well, you gotta say that Orkworker always had the timings at the shop at the upper right, stealing a lot of invo potions from Sonic, and always had a good timings of using those invo potions. Rarely wasted. I think at the final fight, that was kind of um, that was kind of wasted in the end. A little too early used maybe, but before perfect usage of uh, of that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Sonic was so far behind after the first engagement. He lost all but two talents. And he lost two heroes. He lost basically everything. Of course, you can reproduce him fast, but you're going to be so far behind in experience. And of course, going to be behind in supply, as you most of the time are in this matchup. <sighs> he has to come up with know. something, man. He has to come up with something. The scouting was OK from Sonic all the time, so that was good. But the decision making was really off. Maybe he was overconfident going into this finals. Yeah, needs to be. I think that is actually why this might be not such a good matchup for Sonic. Because in this matchup, you are the defensive player. Yeah. Against human, you are the aggressor. Against undead, you can be the aggressor, mm -hmm. uh, but it switches around. But against orc, you're definitely the defensive player. Yeah. Usually, uh, Sonic tends to beat Orc workers. Map score is 7 to 4, and of course, the biggest game these two played was the semi final of the last year's Open Qualifier. It was an easy 2 0 for Sonic. And only that map now shows you how Orc worker has improved in that one year. But yeah, it's kind of close between those two, uh, though, in serious is. It's 3 to 2. I still have trouble believing that Orkworker is one map away from making it to China. <laughs> Imagine yeah. we said that last year. Last year we had five spots and yeah. we would have still been totally surprised if Orkworker had made it. Yeah. And this True. year it's, he's so close to making it with only two spots. So everybody's ready. The cast is in Russia, the cast is here in Hamburg, Germany. And he is undefeated in this qualifier. Seems to be perfectly prepared. We're just waiting for the go. Everybody is ready. Except yet, as it seems. Uh, Alright, Echo Alt, of course, a very small map. Um, leveling the TC, when you have an advantage, leveling the TC to level 5, not really possible. Mm -hmm. If you want to get him to level 5, you have to kill stuff from your opponent. But that might work into uh, Orc Worker's cards, actually, because I think late game he often have, is too passive, but here he might have no other choice than being aggressive. But I think uh, the question is going to be with, with Sonic here. Does he know how far to stretch his luck? Last game he was being pretty greedy, pretty aggressive at many points, but he got away with it for most of the game. But then, one time only, he gets caught and he basically loses the game right there. One map Whoa. away. Huh? Sorry. He's going for a Merc Camp creep. Of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> that is uh, risky. That is risky. But yeah, that is how he rolls, That's man. That is how he is. Freaking Sonic. It's, un it's incredible. One map away from China is Orc Worker. Sonic, one map away from dropping to the lower bracket against Foggy. Would be a Night Elf Mirror, a Ukrainian Mirror, but he has to come up with something. And Remo, you know what is uh, super important on this map, by the way? Mm, I, I've heard rumors. Uh, this is the specialty here. There's only one shop, and both races, of course, want Invo Potions and Heal Scrolls. So getting this shop control is one of the most important parts here on this map. Will this engine of war creep be scouted? Will this be punished by Orc Worker? Will he expect it? No, it's, it's not going to be scouted. Orc Worker playing the standard. And that's also something uh, we mentioned before. Orc Worker plays standard all the time. All the time, all the time. He plays with the normal timings. He plays with the normal strats. He plays with the normal creep routes. And that's why here he expects the Night Elf to be going for the safe creep, which is the standard, so he doesn't scout. So Sonic actually pretty smartly outthinking him. Of course this could backfire. If suddenly Orc Worker does decide to scout, then suddenly you're going to be like, crap, I'm going to be stuck on level 1 forever. But he puts Orc Worker on 
playing uh, yeah, more reserved, not scouting, and it's gonna work out for him. Demon Hunter is out of the altar, Blade Master is out of the altar. The Styles Clash continues, and Orc Worker going for the first claw on this map. There is 10 claw spots in general to boost up the Blade Master as well as the Marketplace. In the middle of the map, Gloves of Haste it is though, only attack speed, not cure damage. What will Sonic find? Boots would be amazing, Claws would be amazing, and Ring of Regeneration would also be a nice item, I guess. Wow, One. wow, Orc Worker already with attack. Yep, it is the one borrow tech this time. Gonna make it uh, tougher for any tier 2 shenanigans aggression to be coming in, and it's gonna be much later. And also, Sonic did delay his own tech here a little bit with the Wisp Repair. And also the Shadow Priest, that delays it even more. So a lot of early game commitment coming out of the Ukrainian. He can never do this tier 2 Beastmaster push, I feel. Not with his timing. And usually, or oh, there's the first claw ball in the marketplace. Uh, for Orc Worker. Usually on Echo Alts there's two possibilities here. Attack. Either the Blade Master is uh, taking this spot like this, or the Demon Hunter is taking this with an Archer hidden here. But it's going to be the Blade Master. Will Sonic again smell it that the Blade Master is here? Will he punish this as he did on Turtle Rock? At least to a degree. No, he won't. Wind of Mana stealing he gets away with the you want to stack up some more? There's another Gloves of Haste in there if he wants it, but no. Does not. Battle for the Boots is going to be commencing here. And the Demon Hunter seems to be the winner in that regard. By the way, Ring plus three. Uh, yeah, that's not what he wants. But he's creeping up simultaneously and he's investing so hard into this early game. As we said, it's not really going to be possible for him to uh, harass the tier two buildings. But with an early level three Demon Hunter, you might have way more present in the mid game than you usually do. That's true, but the Blade Master is already plus 12 and additional attack speed as well. What does the Demon Hunter get? Staff and Boots. Hmm. Level 2.3. The attack for Orc Worker is almost done. Is there a Wisp nearby? There's here's one that he could staff upon. <coughs> An Orc Worker is going for one claw Fire spot spawn. after another. That's yeah. the strategy here. And he's going to have level 3 really soon, and the level 2 Windwalk I think would be the right choice that time because it's going to be opening up a lot of aggression potential, harassment potential, and space for your oh, TC. Now we have the Demon Hunter in the main base of the Orc. This is going to disrupt Lumber Harvesting quite significantly, and this timing is really cool. He can't really cancel the tier 2 buildings, but he delays them from being created. I like this move. Yeah, that's true. Well, of course, with the Steam Hunter present here, but he doesn't, man. He forces Players Orc forces Worker to build them back. outside the base. And, ooh, that's the best micro here from Orc Worker, losing one of the peons. That uh, is not supposed to happen. And Orc Worker really has lumber issues. You can see it here, man. 650 to 80, not a good ratio. Here comes the Blade Master, though. And <laughs> you see the damage coming out. 82, oh, snapping the crit. out. crit, of course. One more. No, doesn't get it. So, yeah, the economy was harassed, the economy was disturbed to a this degree, but he gets the buildings Players up, and that is the most important attack. thing, I guess. This is so cool. He forges the Blade Master back, then he staffs to his already prepared Ancient of War Creep, and he knows that he's in no danger there right now, because the Blade Master was just in the base. So he gets level 3 right here, and now with this level 3, he's ahead of the Blade Master. Guys, that is a big deal. He's ahead of the Blade Master. And he might be able to put on a lot of pressure in the mid game, despite not having master talents. Possibly. This level 3 DH is actually really strong, guys. He was pretty unlucky. He didn't find a single claw. Pretty bad inventory for him. 40% damage reduction is not that bad against a blade master like this. You see, needs levels as fast as possible. Only two grunts once again here to support him. And Sonic is going for the main base again. This is Ensnare upgrade and Walker is coming. But he's going for the burrow. And Orc Worker was stuck at 40 food in the first game already. This time he will have the same faith against him. All right, what's the idea behind this? Uh, he's... Going to draw some attention towards the main again. Does he maybe want to continue creeping? It looks like it. He's getting the Beastmaster now in the middle, knowing that there's going to be ha there's going to have to be some response from the Orc. And what does he do? Ancient of War is positioning for a creep at the natural, but he's moving across very aggressively. Looks like he's expecting the TC to be at his natural. 
Oh, he's a little bit wrong there, but I guess he gets to do some creeping regardless. That was really good by Sonic again, disturbing the gold mine. This is so cool, man. 700 versus 9350, so this is one town portal advantage already. And this prioritization of creeping is even more relevant because of this, this is Echo Isles. This is a very small map, especially compared to Turtle Rock. So every creep camp you take here is one that, of course, your opponent isn't going to be able to take. That's the case on every map. But here that means that there's only going to be very few creep camps left to pick from. Now though, he's going to continue to be very, very aggressive indeed with quite the decent army here with the Beastmaster, the Mercenaries and the one Archer. And one of the Boros here, I think, is definitely going to be falling. Yeah, he can't really repair. Here comes the staff from the Blade Master. But yeah, one Boros is down, the second Boros is down. Sonic's strategy is completely oh. working here against Orb Worker. There is a good amount of repair, but he has no lumber income whatsoever. And he is losing the wow. second Boros. Amazing this is. Speed scroll by the Orb, trapping him in the base there. Sonic might be forced into a town portal if the Blade Master can go on a rampage. Going for the end snare on the Demon Hunter, but yeah, he forces the town portal. This time, he's not overcommitting. This time, he plays it safe. That but was he plays so good. That was expensive, though. That was three mercenaries and the ar uh, two mercenaries and the archer. So that was expensive. I guess he wants to rotate those out anyways into the late game. But Orc Worker now hmm. has to build three. Orc Burrows, and he only has 22 lumber remaining, and that's gonna take so much time, and we all know how fast talents are in production, so he can just roll over him, I guess. Usually the Orcs have a 10 food su uh, su supply advantage, this time it might be the other way around. And we have the Demon Hunter with the Orb of Venom, no more TP, and no Staff of Preservation. Uh, Sonic is giving me anxiety again. No Tinker either. He will have the resources in about 20 seconds for his third hero. TC, by the way, during all of this, has reached level 3. So he has making good progress. And the first few items at the Merchant go towards the Orc, actually. No invuls, no heal scrolls well, for the Knight of Side. But there is now the Tinker. He's waiting for his uh, Cyclone, for his Master Upgrade, which is finished in a few seconds. Blade Master has detection on him, thanks to the Fury Fire of the Talon. And yeah, Sonic seems to be well prepared. 39 food versus 38. Orc workers still waiting for this one burrow. Orcs like to go over 50 fast to have this advantage. Orcs like to go to break the upkeep, but not this time. A player's Demon Hunter level 3.6. This is so fast. Of course, the Beastmaster lacks levels. There's no Hawk just yet. No detection of the Blade Master apart from Fury Fire. But uh, I think in the end this might be worth it if he hits the mana burns a little better than on Turtle Rock. He can get level 3 on the Beastmaster here if he prioritizes him. But possibly wants experience on the Tinker as well as he's also getting it much stronger. Actually creeps with all of his heroes here. Alright. What is Orc Worker's next move going to be? He's running towards the Knight of Main. And wants to pressure there before being in upkeep. That, if, if you're the Knight of here, if you're Sonic here, this screams expansion. But as we can see on the minimap, there is no such building being created. First shockwave going in towards the Wisp and the shop is gone before the self Preservation has been bought. Nice. And the speed scroll gets him out for free. Yeah, definitely a nice little move. There is an orb though, no stab. Maybe he just didn't want to go for a stab at all. First Fury Dragons for Sonic as well. Cyclone on a Raider, but no additional mana burns on anything, thanks to the end snare. What's going on in Orc Worker's main base is still nothing. Only now the burrow has finished. Only now he can go into upkeep, but still the ratio of gold and lumber is horrible. An Orc Worker is reaching around on the bottom side of the map. Ancient of War will be in position to see this coming. So if Orc Worker goes for the turtles back there, for the Gargantuan, that's gonna be pretty risky and he doesn't want to. Threatening the base attack here. Sonic is trying to intercept. 49 supply for the Night Elf, 47 for the Orc. And as we all know, that's not where the Orc wants to be. Orc Worker researches pillage. Maybe he can go grubby style. Speed scrolls, forcing town portals. First shockwave hits a bit but not too much. Going for the Beastmaster immediately. Invo Potion being popped back. Step critical strike! And that was the lack of the staff. Killing the Beastmaster. No more 
Quill Beast, and he immediately portals out. Well, on the ca uh, cost of one Raider, but also him gets out. Ah, Cyclone, Sonic, not reacting. Nope. Ah, there we go. But Beastmaster versus Raider trade. Well, also a town portal. And a grunt. And a grunt, okay, but that buys him some time to get up to 60. And the Whistle Scouting here is like, hell, oh, this, this certainly looks like an expansion, what you're playing here. But so far, no expo. 3.5, Blade Master 3, almost 4, Torrent Chieftain. But shop control by Sonic now, he has two heal scrolls. He would love to have an invul potion, but not possible here. Uh, what did he get? Oh, lots of Ring of Protections here on the Tinker. 10 armor, yeah. Jesus Christ. More raiders. This was his key to victory on Turtle Rock. One of the keys. Oh, the A Berserker. Where are you hanging out, yeah, mate? I was not in the group, most likely. This is reminiscent of Focus and Lin, of course. You always go for the Berserker. That's level 4 for the Demon. That is a big increase in effective HP. And yeah, this is going to be Grubby style. Orc Worker is attacking the main. Yeah, he gets resources from that and he forces the Knight Elf back. The Beastmaster actually. Oh my god, this is horrible for him. Town Portal will save him. Moon Wells, of course, full. There's Speed Scroll. He has to have one. No, actually, he doesn't. Well, the talents are too slow, though, as it seems. The Endurance Aura, certainly a nice addition here for the Orc Army. Sonic is trying to chase. Sonic is trying to catch up desperately, but. Seems like he a just town. is not able to. The shop has been killed in the main of the orc. Is that going to be enough for Sonic to want to take a fight? He still has no TP. Well, he now again has no TP, of course. But he has two healed scrolls and the beast mass remained alive. He can't produce now anyway. So what can he do? He's rebuilding the moon well only now. Orc worker, of course, does not want to fight at the moon. Well, he has 56. Versus 49, he could try it, but oh, Sonic is backing this up with an expansion. And now Sonic maybe wants to go for the Boros, uh, for the Spirit Lodge first, and the Orc is coming in from the south. Where is the TC? Where is the first Shockwave? Invul used immediately again on the Black Master. Oh, the Shockwave nicely onto all the lined up talents. The Pocket Factory in a good position, TC leveling up as well, and the Beastmaster once more in trouble. There's the end there. Where's the staff? He still doesn't have a staff! He still doesn't have a staff! Are you kidding me, Sonic? The heal scroll keeps the BC boy alive for a little bit longer, but not for too much as he is falling right here with a crit again. The spear lodge is down, but also Sonic's losing many of his forces. 40, no, only 36 supply remaining, and Orcworker still still gets 56. This is looking great for the Belarusian once again. This was the second, the last heal scroll just used by Sonic. The Cyclones are still there, but the talent numbers, man, they're falling quickly. I think soon there will be no more hurricanes happening on Echo Eyes. The, the Tinker now in trouble as well, but there are no answers. Look at this. Everything is cycloning. There are no more walkers. The Spirit Lodge is gone. He can't disenchant. He's giving out the GG. What? What? Um. <laughs> he had both heroes still alive. There was only the Demon Hunter there. Well, the Tinker as well, excuse me. This is so weird. That was too early to call. I, uh, I don't really know how much mana was still left on the talents. And uh, maybe he was sure that the next attack would kill him because there would be new talents with new Cyclone and he can't fight against that. But there was no town portal on Sonic. There were still a lot of raiders, even if they are in the air, man. The heroes were great. I don't really get that. No, me neither. I mean, the Talons hadn't been fighting for a long time, so they had a lot of mana. But you can't tell me. He clicked on every single Talon and was like, oh, you got eight, eight cy Cyclones. That's too much. I'm going to GG now. I think that was premature, but OK. It was pretty cool how he took out the Lodge. And then realized I, I take out the uh, walkers now, and then I can just cyclone everything. Yeah. And you can't disenchant. That was pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Baffled. Didn't expect Baffled that one. Baffled again. <coughs> Once again, I have to turn me up. <coughs> okay, this should be better now. But yeah, we're going into a third map that's gonna decide who's going to China.
And the map is Remo? Terranus Stand. Terranus Stand. Epic battles have been fought here between the world class players of Warcraft 3. Also, a good TC map, I'd say. If, uh, well, of course, especially one consumable for each player, usually. If he gets a mana potion there, oh, that's gonna be great. Hist historically, of course, a nice map for Night Elf. Yeah, you can make a lot work with only one agent of war, and you or of, oftentimes at least, uh, not usually, but oftentimes the Night Elf in this matchup are stuck on low levels, as we saw in game number one of Turtle Rock. Demon Hunter, second game, level three, much faster, became way more of a relevant force in the mid and late game, and yeah, Terranus. Uh, you can creep so much with just one Ancient of War, you can go uh, level 3 immediately and then he's going to be in position for your natural, so pretty much perfect. And Orc Worker, we said before, if he has a weakness in this tournament, it is that he can be too passive. And especially on Tyrannus, if you give the Knight of too much space, he's going to have level 3 Demon, level 2 Beastmaster quickly, and then maybe soon after level 3 Beastmaster, level 3 Tinker as well. And the heroes are the key. The, uh, cyclo uh, the talons, excuse me, cyclone over and over, and the heroes on the ground deal with the rest. This was Orc Worker's first loss in this tournament, his first map loss. Oh, yeah. Will this create a crack in the shield that seemed to be so strong throughout all seven days so far? This mm -hmm. is his time to shine now, and this his time to shine that he has a strong mind and he can overcome this. Yeah, maybe, maybe he has been shaken a little bit by this. I still would say that this was a premature GG we saw in Echo Isles. I hope he's going to be able to keep his composure. We've been mentioning, mentioning this now over and over, that this is the biggest tournament he's ever played, and that <coughs> nerves might become an issue. One map now makes a difference of $1,500. The winner of this match gets $4,500 guaranteed. The loser will go down to the loser's bracket finals against Foggy, where $3,000 are guaranteed, but of course both players want to go to China. And there's only two slots for that. Money can't heal everything. Okay, so. <laughs> what crazy thing can, can Sonic put out now? I mean, we saw the greedy creep yep. on Echo Isles. We saw the super greedy positioning on Turtle Rock in the middle of the game that basically cost him the game. So what is, what is it now? Well, you could go for the uh, natural creep, which would... Nah, does it make sense though? Not really. No, you don't want to expand, right? So maybe the Merc camp again? Yeah, but I think the most efficient creep route is actually uh, the standard one yeah. with the Goblin Laboratory, then the Tiny Dudes, and then later the Merchant. Mm. It's going to be hard, man. We can, can we imagine what's going through the mind of Sonic? I don't think so. He's putting up Mozart right now. I think a new Beethoven playlist, maybe. Oh. Thinking about this. I think Orcworker has to be way more aggressive this game, especially because this is Terranus. The Demon Hunter can get so much here so easily. And it is a game changer, level 3 Demon Hunter. It just is. Yeah, we saw it on Echo Isles, how much of a big difference this makes. Also, I think the mana burns were better last game. Definitely a bit more on point. Not perfect, far away from perfect, but uh, I think he prevented like two or three shockwaves with that. And that looked okay, for sure. And also the thing is, when you want to go more aggressive, you know, when you want to put on more pressure onto the elf, then maybe you want to have more grunts, and for that maybe you delay your attack. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it was just two grunts, right? Uh, on Echo, uh, two or three, yeah. yeah. But they were late, mm -hmm. definitely. Um, but then again, an early attack from the Night Elf and the Demon... Uh, the Beastmaster might be running into your base and cancelling a lot of buildings. I really liked on Echo Isles how he uh, got in with a level 3 Demon, 
staffed out to creep again. Got in with level 3 demon again, staffed out to creep some more. I thought that was really cool movement coming out of Sonic. I bet my ass that he will surprise us once again with creep routes, with unit constellations, with timings. Will this be enough for the strongest player so far in this tournament? Maybe with a little easier grid, but still incredible performances we've seen. Okay, Russian Castles are ready as well. We are ready to go. Sonic Orc Worker 3. Are you doing the countdown? Or? No. That's just it was the three. No, it's just uh, the th third One. map, man. Three. <laughs> okay. Sonic Orc Worker 3, here we go. One map to China. It counts now for both players. It would be... The third time for Sonic to make it to the grand final of the grandest stage of them all to Yinchuan in northern China. He would be the only European player to accomplish that. Hawk did it before, out. Warchief did it before, out. Yep. He's the only one to hold up the flag throughout all of these years. And how is he going to do it? We expect something unusual. Something risky, maybe something crazy. Yeah, it seems to be the new dawn of European Warcraft stars. Orc Worker, Foggy, guys like that. Maybe even Wan in this qualifier. But uh, there's one old guy standing against <laughs> this. And as we mentioned, Yo, this guy will always surprise us. There is no creep here. There is no creep here. There is no it. creep here. He is dropping an engine of war right in the face of Orc Worker. I can't believe it. On Terranus, where it is so incredibly easy for a level 3 Demon Hunter to be reached compared to other maps. Keeper of the Grove. Keeper. F <laughs> <laughs> we saw this on Twisted Meadows oh my and God. we were like, what the hell? And he made it look so easy. This is so nuts. That only one guy can pull it off. And I, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if this works. I think it's pretty good against Orc Worker also. Because I said before, Orc Worker plays, always plays standard and always plays best against standard. When he knows what's going on, when he doesn't really need to adapt too much, when he doesn't need to improvise. When he can just pull off what he does in practice, which he does a lot, which is practice. And this is going to be super weird. I'm pretty sure, though, this has been played against by Orc Worker before, because uh, Sonic also plays a lot of ladder, and at some point he probably played that against Orc Worker. But how many times? How much practice does he really have? Does he really have the best answers to this already? What are the best answers to this? Honestly, I don't know. I can't tell you. Orc Worker, though, he's going to have to deal with a lot of aggression, a lot of harassment in this game. Indeed, and at some point he has to take care of this, selling the town portal now and getting the circlet, obviously. But this is going to be harassment against the Altar of Storms. He needs that for the TC later, or even the Shadow Hunter against this. And if he's finished with the Altar, he will just go here into the passant line and wreck the economy with, together with the Keeper of the Grove. And Tangle is working against him. Blade Master, of course, a nice weapon against the Keeper. He is squishy. He can't really take a lot of damage. And we see it here. Not a real block, not a real uh, surround or whatever. But he still keeps him busy from creeping and he still keeps him busy from doing anything effective. But there is one more, two more Windwalks. Town is under siege. Tech for both players at the same time. All right, the grunts are now here to deal with this ancient of war. Usually, with the keeper of the grove, we see huntresses, because the keeper is very strong early game with a disable on tier one already, which is something that usually doesn't exist in the game unless it's, no, not really. Um, he falls off heavily later though, and huntress is also very good in the early game. Not later on, uh, not really. But see, he doesn't go for a Hunter's Hall. He just got the one Ancient of War in the base, which is now fallen. And one in his own main. He's slowing down the Blade Master. That much is for certain. But this doesn't look too effective to my eye just yet. Well, some players go for... Oh, the boots here are important. Yeah, if he gets the boots, I think... Yeah, he has the staff and the boots. Well done by Sonic. Quick fingers. 
Well, some Knight Elves go for the Keeper of the Grove as a second hero compared to uh, the Beastmaster. Here comes a block from the Grunt. Can he keep him slow? No, he can't. Uh, so he can rotate him later and build the Demon Hunter second, but of course, as we mentioned before, it makes such a big difference if the Demon Hunter is level 1 or level 3. And so this might not be the best choice. But with the Keeper first, doesn't he have to go Bears? Because if you go Talents, you have zero mana burn against the TC. Yeah. And that that right there doesn't sound like a good idea. Will Sonic throw away this grand final just because his weirdness, because his crazy thoughts? But yeah, on the other side, standard is not his thing. Trying to go for the arrest doesn't really work, and we see the power of the Blade Master here. But of course, the keeper can always run away. He has boots, and his opponent doesn't. No Huntress Hall. Well, this is once again um, no sign. This could be a super late Huntress Hall again. But on the other side, the Blade Master not only level one and a half. I wonder what he, where he's Blade's going with this. Is he really just going to be talents? <laughs> Could this be? Oh no, he doesn't have too many archers. Hippo uh, riders. Yeah, I, yeah, was, yeah, I, I, I thought the same. The Maybe it, it, it is hippo riders, but therefore he doesn't have. He has not a single archer, right? Goes yeah. for the shredder now. Yeah, the shredder creep. We see that quite a lot. One of the grunts will be killed here as well. So his pick off so far, two peons, two uh, one grunt. That's not. That's not really good for a keeper, though. To be honest, is it going to be denied? This should be accomplished. Yep, gets the deny. And second hero, Beastmaster, and double Ancient of Wind. So it is apparently is gonna be Talons. the talent strategy. Ooh, but if or he gets mass furies, uh, you could play the same style with the Hippogriff Riders that you play with mass furies, like super harass with the Beastmaster and Keeper. That's an okay synergy. And the TC is super useless against this. Oh, he got all of the grunts now. He got all of the grunts. How is the TC supposed to creep now? This is really big. I'm, I'm becoming more and more a fan of this Mass Fury Dragon thing, but he has no shop, right? No. No. Okay, so that's out the window. Talents. A player's Talents. Are under attack. All right. I, I was questioning, like, how are you going to fare against a high-level TC? Well... If you kill all the units that the TC creeps with, he's not going to be high level. That's yeah, really smart, man. Sonic now with the shop, but I think that is too late. Maybe he wants to mind trick Orc Worker into thinking that he go still goes Talents and then pump out Fury Dragons. I don't know. He's gonna get Every like everything is possible, man. What? Yeah, he, he has the next run. This is so strong. All of a sudden it is so strong, but Orc Worker... Oh, no. oh my god, he's going to get the Raider as well. He has the Entangle. Oh my Orc goodness. Orc Worker is losing unit after unit. He is losing everything. And this is once again something Jesus. Orc Worker could never prepare against. All right, guys. Um, oh, nice around here with the Peons. That was pretty cool. The Beastmaster here will probably be falling unless he transfers the TP. Doesn't do it. Does oh, he even have a TP? Scroll. Oh, there's no Disable. No, nope, there was only a staff, no town portal. All right, guys, if you are orcs on ladder, get ready next week. This is going to be the strategy that Nidus will be playing. <laughs> yeah, I was talking with high tech about this, that usual talents does not seem to work anymore. The Koreans, the Chinese, they, and of course, orc worker as well, they showed the night elves that they will beat them. Like, especially Fly, of course, 18 months without a loss against uh, Night Elf, Lun, demolishing everybody, Orc Worker, or oh, Tom of experience here now, of course. So this is what Sonic came up with. This, of course, can't work every, uh, every day like Talents, but so far it is working. Uh, the strat saving was worth it, as this game, I think, is looking pretty good for him. But then again, <laughs> I don't know, man, it's <laughs> such a weird game. Blade Master found the claws, though. Plus 8 has the Invo Potion. TC has finally level 2. But without Grunts, there is lower potential for Hero Focus. But the Keeper is now on level 3. This Entangle will be lasting forever. Going for the Peons first. He, this is a little bit dangerous, though. Ensnare could be ready. And it could be 
forced, uh, well, to die, I guess. Two of experience for Orc Worker as well, and that helps him so much with the level 3 TC. Level 3 Blade Master as well. I would love to see him going for crit. Sonic found the Scourge Bone Chimes. Boots of Keltalas! And more and more peons are dying, making the economy for Orc Worker difficult. He's pretty low on lumber, but I think he got the end snare upgrade already, uh, but not the initiate. Uh, the adapt on the walkers. So Cyclone is taking some time. Sonic saving this talent here with a crow form. Has to upgrade almost. Demon Hunter third. Third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? this guy, oh. man. This guy. I don't even know that it's that good, though. I mean, mana burn is pretty weak before level 2, and how is he going to get the demon to level 3, man? He has... yeah, he has this big spot here, but he has to creep it alone. And I think the Beastmaster needs levels as well. And he won't attack. wait for the demon. Oh, maybe the Keeper in problems. He has only a staff. And Orc Worker is all of a sudden plus 14. Once again, the item drops for him. Incredible. And the greater mana on the TC. Of course. <laughs> it is pretty crazy. Beastmaster, almost level 3 already. He has been getting so much experience from all these grunt kills. How many grunts was it this game? Five? Yeah, I think and so. And a raider. He took out every single grunt in the early game and then the one who got reproduced. 46 food for the night elf. Orc worker for uh, 46 as well, going for the invul here. And I think hero focus must be thing for Orc Worker. This TC though, man, this is gonna be like five shockwaves. Yeah. And I'm thinking about the mana burn here. There's still no staff preservation, by the way, on top. Did he buy one on Turtle Rock? Uh, yes. I think. It's a pretty good item, I think. <laughs> I get a pretty pump. cheap as well. Uh, no, maybe. Uh. Nope, all the The Demon Hunter is also so squishy, man. 575 yeah. HP. Same for the Keeper. Beastmaster is the strongest with 725. And against this stands a Blade Master with plus 14 damage. Yeah, during the invul, if the crits come out, heroes might be dying quick. Wasting the second shockwave here. I don't know if this is so perfect. Going for the invul, beast mode enabled, and snare on the demon hunter. But there's an invul potion. Switching the focus to the raiders. There is two more. Oh, this wave was nice. And the raiders once again find the angle for the talent seal scroll being used for Sonic. But that was his final one. He only has to stay for the town portal. Once again, the wave was nice. Blade Master still on the ground, but the invul potion is gone. The raiders have to do the damage. Demon hunter is down. TC in a lot of troubles there, though. Has the regio potion. Can he use it somehow? Going on to the Beastmaster who is not level 3. The Raiders are all falling. This is looking good for Orc Worker. He gets the second hero town portal out. Sonic is not giving up this fight, but he has to fight uphill for the rest of the game. Again, the first fight resulting in so many losses. He has at the moment a Talon. One. 31 food, the Demon Hunter is about to be back on Orc Worker. This time he's not going for the creep, this time he's not going for the passive route. This time he wants shop control, he wants to apply more pressure. Sonic gives up an Orc Worker! He really makes it happen! He's going through the qualifier, through the winner bracket, and he is going to China! Secures the spot with only dropping a single map. Incredible. Incredible story oh. of Orc Worker. Congratulations to the tickets. Congratulations to at least $4,500. And we really get a Ukrainian Night Elf Mirror for the second slot. And can you imagine what madness we are about to witness? <laughs> Two of the most creative players we have in Europe. Pot and Mirror. For, uh, we have in this night of mirrors, man. We have seen everything, but let's talk about this later. Let's talk about Orc Worker again. W was it the strength of Orc Worker here, or was it just Sonic throwing it with the tactics, with the hero choices? I think he realized very, very late that this won't work without a Demon Hunter. 
I think he knew that strategy though. I don't... Alright, so... He killed so many grunts, he killed so many raiders. Maybe he should then pressure earlier because he looked for the real first fight towards the end of the game, obviously, when the TC was already level 3. But the TC was hanging around the bottom of the map for such a long time, only at level 2. He didn't, of course, have the greater mana yet. Maybe he should have pressured earlier. Maybe he should have skipped on the third hero entirely and go down there quicker with maybe, I don't know, health potion, something like that, and try to... Try to apply even more pressure, but it's hard to say, man. I've never seen a game like that before, I can tell you. <laughs> From my experience with Sonic, I could say that it's re really possible that he wanted to go for Fury Dragons, but just forgot the shot. Mm. But Fury Dragons against Orc? I don't know. Well, uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. This was game number one. We have two more for you. Loser bracket final. Foggy versus Sonic and afterwards the grand final where Orc Worker is waiting now. One more ticket! And uh, yeah, we have also an interview with Wan coming up that, uh, we'll be, that we'll be doing here today. All right, so we went down. Uh, we still have three players remaining, of course, but we only have two matches remaining. It's going to be the loser's final and that might be the most tense one because uh, the loser gets $3,000, but gets no trip to China. No chance to receive glory and prestige, honor and pride. As only the top two will be going to Yinchuan for the main event later this year. And as Neo just said, Foggy versus Sonic gets the Ukrainian Knight of Mirror. And we have the two most creative knights in the world, maybe? Lol, I had, uh, has to be in that list of course and yeah but talents from that. hunts dryads we're expecting all of it not only bears and this is going to be our next one of course followed up by the grand final where orc worker is already leading uh, waiting not leading excuse me <laughs> he doesn't have a lead of one zero or anything like that it's going to be a straight up best of five for the first place as, as well for seven thousand six hundred dollars for the winner of this qualifier 4,500 for second place and 3,000 for third. But uh, the trip to China, that's what's really mattering. And that's what we're going to decide in the next game. L little break, get your beers, get your snacks, get everything you wanted. Coming up with Foggy Sonic. <laughs> 